Well, welcome aboard, my friends. Today we're going to start a little differently. This is a group that I just shot. This is five shots. And this is about a four-inch target. Now, I'm only standing about 13 yards. But you can see that this is a very tight group. Okay? Now, I could not shoot like this when I was using direct aiming. But when I started to use indirect aiming, I got so that I could shoot like this. And I think by showing you this, I can uh, help you out. Now, first of all, I'm holding my bow, and there's a bump on my, my glove right there. And then you can sort of see where my first knuckle is, way over here. Okay? Now, through experience, I have found that if I aim the arrow directly at the target, I will hit over there. Longbows just shoot to the left. So aim directly at the target and hit over there. But what I have found is that if I put my first knuckle over there, and you can see where my arrow is. My arrow is pointing over there now. But I hit the target. Aim at the target, shoot to the left, find a spot where you can aim. And even though it's indirect and your arrow is looking like it's not going to hit the target, you will hit the target. Okay? So that's basically what I'm going to teach you, how to hit the target by indirectly aiming. And of course, we need to have a very special anchor that's very consistent also, and I'll show you that. Anyhow, that's the start for today, and we'll be back in a minute. Well, my dear friends, welcome aboard. This evening I'm going to teach you or show you the most important spot in traditional archery, and that's the magic spot. Uncle Howard, Howard Hill, he talked about having a magic spot, and I wondered what that was for years. I know what it is, so I'm going to show it to you. It's right here, right here, right where your cheek joins your the upper part of your teeth. We'll show you. See this? Okay. This right here is the magic spot. And I'll show you, let's see here. When I'm aiming, what will happen is my fingers will go in under there and one finger will go up on my cheek. Now when Uncle Howard did it, he used to put the index finger under there and this finger at the back of the jaw right where his lower tooth was, but I don't have a lower tooth, so I put it against the back of my jaw, and then his other finger would go down here. So I want to have a very high aim. So I do the same as Uncle Howard, only I have this finger under the bone, and this one in the back against the jaw, and this one on my cheekbone. Uh, anyhow, once again, a couple more pictures, but you can sort of see on that spot or that spot, whether you're left or right-handed. And the, uh, the finger, my finger, would go up on the cheekbone, and the index finger would just go underneath. Another picture that can help you is looking at it from the side. And if you look at it from the side, you can sort of see that the third finger goes here against the jaw, the middle finger goes here, just underneath the cheekbone, and that one sits on top. So you can do it that way, or you can put the top one there, and the middle one there, and the bottom one there. Either way. Now, what I found was, and because, you know, there, there's three archers that really uh, impressed me. Uncle Howard, who anchored like that. Um, Byron Ferguson who actually uses the index and comes in like that. And uh, then there was uh, 
Ken Wilhelm. And, you know, Ken Wilhelm's movies are from like 1930, so I was watching them and I'd stop it and I'd watch it and I'd stop and I'd watch and stop because Ken and Howard, you know, they're shooting apples off people's heads, cufflinks off people's heads. Great shots. But anyhow, what I found with Ken is even though he moved his hand back to here, when he hit that exact same spot is when he let go, and then his hand went to there. But every time if you got it in slow motion, it would be there. If you take a look at a still picture of Howard Hill, there's a good one, you'll see that he's actually pulled the skin in. You can see the skin is pulled in. So he's into a solid anchor there. Now, that's the, uh, the magic spot. That's it. And if I get there, I'm pretty well always going to hit. Now, the thing about the magic spot is that I can use it to shoot indirectly, or I can use it to roll on directly, or I can relax and then swivel on directly, or I can simply put the point on and bring it in and keep it straight. So only because I can touch the magic spot can I shoot all those different styles. If I tried to shoot those styles, I'll end up with different anchors and all kinds of stuff and having to roll your arm and do this and do that. This is the magic spot. This is where it is, right there. And uh, how I find mine generally is, you know, there's the cheekbone. See, I can just slide my finger along that curve and it just sits right inside that little dimple where my jaw is. And then the other finger goes in there. Now that's the best I can show you. But anyhow, um, that's it. <laughs> so I'll be back in a minute and I'll prove it to you. Okay guys, just took a couple of shots there. A really, really important thing to be doing, other than getting it back into this little pocket here, right by my lower back tooth. But when I put it up, I want you to see that when I put it up, I'll stand back a bit so you can see. When I put it up and I put it down, do you see how I put it down Whatever angle it takes for my cant, that's where I'm going. That's where I want this. Straight. The cant doesn't matter. If you hold it up and draw back to this spot, you will have to do indirect aiming. There will be a, a, a sideways gap. But if you come back to this spot and you're off, and you're off you can simply swivel on. Or, if you're off a bit, you can roll on. Or, if you put it up and bring it down already straight, that's all you have to do, okay? It always goes to this spot here. And uh, when you do that, You'll get nice tight little groups. Okay boys, back in a minute. Okay guys, the magic spot must be the spot that if you touch it you never miss. Must be how they shoot in Shangri-La. some tension on that ball, pull it back.
guys. So, you know, I was thinking about, uh, I think it's Mitchell Brookner, Brooker. And uh, he was saying that he's watched almost all my uh, 290 movies or so, so I'm really pleased about that. He says that it's helped him a lot, you know, so that's kind of neat. Also, uh, Ray Spackman was saying that he thought I was holding my elbow kind of low. Uh, Ray worries about me. <laughs> he's my buddy, he's been watching a long time. But, uh, I, yeah, you know, uh, see if you can see, whatever I do, when I relax, that's where my elbow goes. I never really raise or lower the elbow, Ray. I just let it hang at 180 degrees from the pressure. So if I anchor low, my elbow probably seems high. But when I go up to my high anchor up here, probably, yeah, look, my, my elbow looks a little lower. That's all it is. But really, uh, it's just back and relaxing. That's that's all I'm doing. That's how my elbow finds its own position by being 180 degrees from the uh, on the pressure line. And you know, again, if you can find that magic spot under your cheekbone, you'll start to get some good hits. It's very important. Howard used it. Byron uses it. Ken used it. I'm using it. Back in a minute. Okay, guys. So, one of the ways that we can shoot if we are using the magic spot where we put our fingers into our little dimple by our jaw and, uh, and our other finger under it, and this one on top, or like Howard would do, just the opposite, where these two go under, or uh, also Byron puts two under. Anyhow, it's uh, very accurate, but when I do this, there's different ways of doing it. And one is the roll. I correct with the roll. The feathers are right under my eye. The back of the arrow is right under my eye. And I simply roll the front uh, tip of the arrow onto the target. So I, I call it the roll. You have to be back, you have to get relaxed, and then you have to carefully do that. And I'm just going to leave that like that. I'll come back and shoot some more, but I'll tell you something. Just for a laugh. You see that? When I got back, that arrow was off on the left side of that target, and when I rolled my wrist, it went right into the center. Okay, anyhow, back in a minute. five days are going to be over 30 every day. We, we broke a, a record today at, at 31. I might roll it a little bit. I'll deliberately relax so it goes off to the left so you can see the roll. Now you see, watch. Right in there. Okay. Anyhow, that's the roll. And uh, we just want to get it up, relax. Me being right-handed, it generally goes slightly left, and I just roll until it goes into the center. Anyhow, that's another thing that you can do if you anchor at the magic spot. That's the little dimple under your cheekbone. And, of course, if you do, then you'll get your hits. You know? Okay. Back in a minute. Okay, Chad. So here's another slightly different technique. I call it the sliding eye. 
right? The sliding. This is what I mean by it. It starts out very much like a uh, indirect aim. Uh, to do it though, I need to hold my shoulder not quite on, but almost, and take a backward step. That's not away from the camera, that's parallel to the camera. Okay, so I take that little back step. That will allow me to get on the line very good. But um, anyhow, this is it. See, so it takes a lot of arm strength and control. But you see where the arrow is, just like I was going to shoot indirectly? Now watch my arms right at the target. Okay, so that's what I'm going to demonstrate. I call it the sliding eye or the sliding arm. Again, it takes arm strength, but you know, you'll look at the target, shoulder, not quite on. The scissor step, that's a backward step. I call it the scissor step. Put it up. Now, bring the whole thing under your anchor. Right? That's how it works. Anyhow, let's go and do it a bit. <laughs> okay. Take a couple of shots using the sliding eye technique. Okay, so there's a couple of shots. I think that you could sort of see that I was moving everything to the left until the arrow lined up with the magic spot. And at that point, I brought it back. Also, I was doing a good haul. Like, it wasn't out here I was doing it. It's way back and close, and it just comes along parallel until it lines up, and off it goes. Anyhow, there's another technique. And again, whether it's a roll or this technique or indirect, you know, we're getting our hits. So all these little variations can work. You need to practice them. Okay, guys, a couple more shots here. Arrow out. Arrow pass between the string and the bow. Arrow rolled until it fits the two feathers against this side. Start looking at that target. Take the little step around. Put some pressure on that bow. Bring it up. Put it right on. Now, it's not really aiming correctly, so I'm going to roll my elbow down. Now, it's pointing right at the target. Did you hear that, Ray? There. That one was for Ray, but we're just going to roll the elbow down until we're pointing at that target. Relax that arm so that the elbow and the arm is just hanging. We're not raising or lowering. And when you do that, lay that bow flat down so the arrow's pointing at the target, and you hit that little magic spot. That one was for you, Ray. <laughs>
have fun, buddy. Okay, guys. Now, um, this time, I'm going to try to actually aim at the target. And the feathers are on wrong this time. I'm, I don't care. I'm just going to shoot it anyhow. It's not a big difference, you know, not really. But uh, anyhow, I'm just going to try to hold on and be really still. We'll see how we do. That was kind of low on the target, but a bit low. Let's see if we can't do a little better. But this is going to be all hand control, so tension on. Line right up, and come straight back, and now actually doing this, I should have perfect uh, hand form. Really, so let's just sort of see. So we put it right on there, like that. Just keep our hand there. So also this this will work, you know, but tension on that bow, it'll come straight up, down on the target. You come right back to that, that spot. That was a nice hit. The less you talk, the better you hit. But uh, so here we're just using hand control. We're not rolling, we're not uh, swiveling, we're not uh, sliding it sideways, we're simply tension on, bringing it up, getting it so that it lines up to our magic spot, and that one went right dead in the center. But uh, those are the different ways, you know, so in this case, I, uh, I was just holding it on and really being careful with my hand and letting it go. The other way we were showing it was look at the target and bring it all to the left until it comes to your anchor, or we get back and we find that our arrow is a little bit on the left, we'll roll it on, or if we get back and we relax and all the tension has gone under our hands, but the arrow starts to point over there, we swivel at the waist and we just swivel everything back and we're on. Anyhow, that's enough for tonight. I think I've shown you several things and uh, uh, I hope you all have a good night. And <laughs> Have fun. And, uh, anyhow, these are our last hits. The uh, the last one is sort of hanging down on that angle, but it's you know dead center. Uh, anyhow, have fun, boys. Enjoy yourselves. Take care.